Hey guys, how's it going? Astro Feminist here back with another Amberlynn Reed video. Today we are going to be looking at this little clickbaity thumbnail video right here. The Australian candy bars. More decluttering. You know, I love a good declutter. And gifts from her mom. I did want to cover this bullet journal one, but honestly it is so long. And obviously you can tell after Vlogmas there is a definite dip in the time of the content. Like this one's 10 minutes long. TLDR on the bullet journal. Um, I think the way that she organized it was disorganized uh there was like no pre-planning really like people who actually bullet journal which i actually did it for a hot minute in college but then i realized it was way too much work for my brain and i never wanted to actually keep up with it so i just got pre-made planners and it worked so much better um she basically didn't pre-plan it at all and there were so many things that were redundant or really should have been like on adjacent pages because she put them all like on separate individual pages and it was just kind of a mess so imo not really good at bullet, bullet journaling and i doubt she's gonna keep up with it anyway let's look at this one miss i don't do clickbait with the whole candy bar in her mouth so again this is the video we're gonna be looking at today and let's just get right into it baby girl why are you chilling like that I love what are you doing <laughs> what is she doing up there so I'm doing more cleaning, organizing, decluttering, and I don't know if you guys know this, but I went through a phase. Okay, big fucking disclaimer, um, I do collect crystals, and this drawer alone is easily a few, not a couple, a few to several hundred dollars worth of crystals, unless she buys them in bulk from like... You know, the TikTok girlies that do the crystal scoops for the add-ons for people who order from their shop. Unless she's doing, like, bulk buys, this is a lot of rocks. And that's a lot of money to just have them all sitting in a huge pile like that. Like, I'm offended on behalf of the crystals. But anyway, let's continue. Where I really liked crystals and things to that extent. So I have, and listen, here's the thing about like these nice towers and pillars and like the eggs and the cute, well, these cubes are kind of weird. I am, I don't think I'd get those like these bigger pieces. They're meant to be like displayed. Oh, I like that sunstone. I have a little sunstone and it's pretty nice, but yeah, these are meant to be displayed. These are not meant to be thrown in a drawer. Like they're decorations and they help with like energies in the room and stuff and like so this is literally just a whole waste of money for her to be doing this and putting them in a drawer and as someone who probably can guesstimate if i actually do what kind of stones these were i can't really tell but that's probably i am a fist like this is sunstone uh aventurine that looks like celeste like there's probably some tourmaline in there and onyx like, this is so much money worth of stuff. Like, that sunstone alone was probably 20 to $30, depending on where she went and got it from. But, like, this is a lot of money to just be having sitting in a drawer bag that's kind of on par with Amber. We remember the earrings from about a year ago. Uh, oh, it makes me... It pains me to see this. <sighs> kind of a lot. And I'll put in a picture of some of the crystals I have. I'm not going to take a picture of my whole ass altar because I feel like that's kind of weird to put that on the internet. Like, I, it's my it's my space. I don't want to advertise it to the internet. But I'll take a picture of, like, the few ones I have because I'm also trying to work on a uh, solar system collection. So I'm trying to find spheres that look like the planets because I found this really cool carnelian that had, like, the red eye that, like, Jupiter has and it has, like, the bands and stuff. So I started at, at that and now I have, like, a Pluto and a Uranus out of celestite and that pluto is like a weird bloodstone because fun fact pluto's not just gray it's got a lot of like red and blue and white bands they get they're probably a lot more subtle than the colorized images on the internet but still um more than i need towers are like that one she just had in her hand more than i need yeah that's a chonky boy that's probably like 50 dollars at least that's a big boy towers 
are those two are probably 50 my together. favorite but i also love spheres that's probably bloodstone right there i really love rose quartz you say you really love these things and these beautiful geodes that the earth spent like hundreds of years to thousands of years making and somebody probably literally gave their lives to like that's the other thing about the crystal trait that I don't really like is like somebody probably died trying to get these minerals for like some big company because you know human exploitation is just a rampant in the mining industry but like somebody worked with their hands to get this out of the earth and you just have this in it oh makes me angry eggs this one's my most favorite that I have not gonna lie i'm not a huge fan of like the open ragged geodes i feel like they have to be done right and this one just kind of looks weird to me i don't care for it but i mean you say that's your favorite put it on a shelf so you can appreciate it like i think the one thing that marie kondo really taught me was if you care about something you will put it on display and that's exactly what drove me to get a whole shelf for my like physical destiny game franchise memorabilia and like collector's edition stuff i'll probably throw a picture of that up as well and i am so happy with it i look at it and i'm just like yes i love this this is beautiful makes me happy every time i look at it so put it somewhere where you can see it if you really like collectors who collect things and are proud of them will frame them will build cabinets and shelves for them like i dated this guy who did warhammer uh miniatures and he painted them he had a whole glass cabinet as tall as me filled with them like i could fit in that cabinet and he displayed them all and got lighting and everything for it like this is not what you do if you really care about the things that you collect you don't just throw them in a drawer where you're never gonna see them again we are only a minute into this video jesus I have the lighting in here there we go isn't it so pretty but, yeah, I'm not going to keep all these. Girl, I'd be angry if you did. Like, I just have a lot. Okay, these are kind of fake, though. These, like, weird sparkly pink things, those are very artificial. I have a ton of, like, mini mushrooms as well. Yes, we love a mushroom. I have mushrooms. I got a bloodstone mushroom. I got a mushroom that, honestly, I don't really know what it is off the top of my head right now. I'm trying to look at it. I can't tell. But we love a cute little mushroom moment. Um, also, these... Hold on. That? She has a couple of these. These are gua sha. I think I'm saying that right. Gua sha tools? Those are meant to, like, do your skincare with. Like, you rub your face with them, and it does, like, some things with, like, getting the blood vessels going and, like, getting those, like, sinuses, like, all those kinds of stuff on your face. Like, those are meant to be in your bathroom for your skincare. Why are they in freaking crystal jar oh i'm already so tilted at this video we are one minute into this of a ton of like mini mushrooms as well like these things back here um and then i have this oh these are fake as hell these are look at those giant these are easily like 40 dollars a piece and these little spheres depending on what they are like 10 these can go for like five to ten bucks a piece and then she has all of these which are meant to be like necklaces and then, like, these are fake as hell. These, like, opalescent and, like, translucent glass things. Like, those are fake as hell. Do you like the heart? Again, I love my spheres and my eggs, but this is not it. This is not it. This is the only piece that's not crystal. This is actually resin, I think. So, yeah. Ugh! Just something I don't think I've ever shared with you guys before. No, but you I think have it's them in time. Drawer. Are these also the same drawer? These look like the same drawer she had all her freaking earrings in. So she literally just like hoard transferred from one shiny thing to a different type of shiny thing. Ugh. But I go through these things because I just I don't do anything with them. Yeah, yeah. that's it. So these three drawers. So I am in the middle of going through the good old crystals and so far these are the ones I want to keep. I'm going to go through it like two more times just in Like I actually try and use, sorry my hand was covering my mouth because I'm just so disgusted by what's going on here. Like I actually do collect crystals. I have a little, I do throw, I know there's some controversy like you shouldn't put them all in a little pile together because they're going to fuck with each other's energies. I don't really think that's legit and the container i do have them in is a little like sort of terrarium glass and it's like made out of 
glass and brass and it's kind of like a prism shape so i feel like it's kind of okay like the geometry <laughs> the sacred geometry and like this is more than i have and i actually care about my crystals and put them on display and like take them with me if i'm like traveling somewhere especially like oi 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 makes me angry man in case but part of my cleaning process here in my bedroom is i want to dust all of this which i've already done oh we have a little gamer moment what is this we got like what is that playstation i don't like playstation controllers like the way that you have to hold them is super weird to me and they're like really skinny where the triggers and the, the bumpers are in the front not a fan what is this like n64 emulator or something i'm an xbox and pc girly so i'm not a fan but i still appreciate a little gamer moment it's pretty dusty um this is where my tv is by the way so my books were messily on here because i've gotten rid of a lot so they were like just like scattered about so what i think i want to do is i want to go dark to light so i'm okay with the color scheme but personally i like to do by like subject type so the books in my office i have like science books uh, like, you know, I have a couple, like, textbooks and then, like, Carl Sagan stuff that I like to read about, you know, like, science nonfiction. Uh, and then I have, like, nonfiction, like, social stuff. So I have, um, books on, like, politics and the drug industry and all that kind of stuff. And then I have, like, uh, I have some books from Poland that my granddad has. Bacon, I probably can never read them for a long time because I need to learn Polish, but they're kind of like failing heirlooms at this point to me. Then I have, what, fiction and like my witchy books and self-help books. And I think that's kind of how mine's organized. I like the categories to like be adjacent to each other. That way it flows because like I'm not going to put the witchy books next to the science books. So like let me put it that way. But I am a fan of the color one. The one thing I can't stand when people flip their books around and have like the pages out and you can't see the cover or anything. I'm like, how do you know which book you're going to get if you can't even see the cover? And like somebody worked on that. Like book covers are sort of an art form, Bigot. There's obviously more effort put into some than others, but it's like, I want to see what I'm looking at, you know? In the past, I have done it by last names. I have done it by... Nah, I mean, doing it by last names is fine for a library, a mass library, but like, nah. Okay. titles al alphabetically not a big fan of the alphabetical in my own house several different ways i've done tall to short but i kind of want to do it from dark to light so i wanted to show you the beginning steps of this it's crazy because i had to take all the books off of here to dust it obviously so that's why it looks like this all right okay let's look at this shall we okay we get the white and the pink um, we got some white books down here, which I don't really understand. Like, why aren't these up here? Because you could probably get basically all the pink books down here with the red books. I got red. I got yellow green. This is kind of weird. I I get why color-wise she did this, but I would just switch these two. Because, like, having these two tall books and then, like, a short book in between is kind of messing with the flow. Yep, yep, yep. This one's a little more green. I, I have perfect color vision, by the way. That's my weird flex. I've taken multiple tests online on my phone and my computer and everything, and I have, like, perfect color vision, and I'm very particular about colors. And this one is definitely more green. I would put that maybe, like, here-ish. Uh, this one kind of, too. I think got some black books. I think got some other books, which I would get a book support for this. Because this just looks kind of, this just, I don't like that. This too. I would get, I, you, hey, there you go. Use your crystals. Get that chonky tower and put it right there or put it down here and have the books standing upright. Because having them slanted, especially like this right here where you have like, oh, sorry, my dog just like sat on my laptop trying to scratch herself. <laughs> what are you doing? He's scratchy, scratchy. Can you help? Oh, yeah, it's that good ear scratchies. Oh, your little ears are so cold. Anyway, yeah, like this, especially this, like, triangle, this A-frame we're making with these books. Ugh, no. No, absolutely not. Here it is complete. So, it's harder than it looks. I'm not gonna lie. But it went well. Like, we have this random one right here um, by Lisa Jewell. I just couldn't figure out where to put her. 
but you know it's fine and then vc andrews over here like all of her spines are dark but the writing is so colorful that i was like what do i do do i just keep it in the dark spot yeah i think that was a good move actually putting all of these together if they're by the same author because then the 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 art is probably in a similar style at least when i buy books and like a series i definitely like you know because they'll make like different kinds of covers especially if they make a movie adaptation i definitely i need to have the similar art styles but that was a good move because she did like the red and then the orange and then yeah yeah okay i understand but as a whole once i see it done it's like oh yeah of course so um we start with light go into pinks and then the rainbow yeah this one white and then we just get weird. into like these two right here. I guess this one's kind of yellow, but like this one, that's definitely a white book. I would put that up there. Darker and go that way like that. And then we have GameCube, PlayStation. So, that's looky, GameCube. looky. I was born in 99. I didn't get into video games until like 2008. And I had a DS. I didn't have a console until I got a Wii in like 2009, 2010. So, pardon me. Don't come for me in the comments if I thought that was an N64. It is a GameCube. I see now it's a cube, all right? Key. <laughs> Oh my god, this is so much more satisfying. Okay, so I'm a Shoot, maybe I want to do my books in color order now. <laughs> Should I do that? I might do that. Because, like, my bookshelf in my office, something about it is just, like, poking me in the back of the head, being like, man, we don't like how this is set up now. Especially because I had to move some stuff around, because your girl is in real gamer hours now, and now has a gaming PC tower, so I don't have to game on my five-year-old laptop anymore let's get it officially done going through all of my crystals and these are the ones that i decided to keep just those the bigger more expensive ones if you will my favorite uh, yeah towers mushrooms put the towers on the bookshelf as bookends it's such a vibe please eggs you know eggs. stuff like that they're just so beautiful see like that's beautiful that piece like that like it's gold lined uh probably the green aventurine I, I i'm not gonna lie maybe fluorite actually fluorite's more banded than kind of mosaic -y, watery flowy like that but like put that on a table or on a shelf that is a gorgeous thing that you could get you know that little dopamine hit every time you look at it it's just sitting in a drawer look at that i really love this one put it on the bookshelf Super pretty. <gasps> what is that green? I'm not really good with like the names of the crystals that don't come for me, but look at this one. I've had these for so long. Oh my god, this makes me angry. It's my little secret. And she's yeah, your secret, so you'll just shut the drawer and never look at them because that drawer is still like at least three hundred dollars worth of crystals. Random figure, I'm not actually sure. But that would be my guesstimate. And then these are all the ones I'm getting rid of. Feline's going through them right now to see if there's any she wants to keep. Did you find any? This guy. That one? Oh, hell yeah. I was looking at that one. That's probably what, uh, no, maybe Aquamarine? Not totally sure. But definitely, I, I'm surprised she didn't keep that one because that one's gorgeous. But uh, I'd say, Feline, do me a favor. Put that on display. Don't just throw it in the drawer. Okay. It kind of looks like the earth, don't it? <laughs> Twink, you no she doesn't actually on. think that <laughs> hi baby Bye. so i just made some homemade soup okay and i wanted to show it to you guys i am using a plastic spoon it's leftovers i had what? from the holidays but listen why do you have plastic spoons in your house it's just you and feline and you can put it on your I'm nitpicking. I'm also gonna skip this because I really don't care. All right, oh god, here. Mandalas, which I love. I absolutely love coloring. Oh, yeah. I got earrings from someone named Bela. Band we Bale? have some strawberry earrings. Oh, here, that's let me vibe. show you guys closer. Strawberry earrings. That's Amber. Butterflies. Eh gummy bears look and how then, cute and then these ones oh, as well oh, i love those last but not least some dice earrings tacky ella sent me the superfood juices and smoothies recipe book which is so awesome because i've actually been wanting to try 
Yeah, because that's what Amber needs is to drink her calories. For those who don't know, uh, when you drink like a smoothie versus just eat the food, your body processes it quicker and is more likely to actually hold on to things. And it's more likely to like, it's more conducive to weight gain, TLDR. So yeah, not a great gift for a okay. read. Oh, there's also like other recipes in there. Oh, that's oh, good okay. actually. Okay. For some reason I thought, oh, superfoods as well. Okay, okay. So it's a recipe book of, oh, Asian spring soba noodle recipe. Wait a minute. I'm going to use gonna this, skip over this for a video and thing. we're going to make something. Thank you. So this is currently oh. what is happening. My heart. Yeah. We're going through all of the cabinets, just everything. It is a lot. Beg it, if you really want to con Mari your house, that's how you do it. You take everything out of its home uh, by category. So, like, I'm sure people have seen, like, the clothes mountains on people's beds with the closet declutters where you take everything out and you switch it. Because, like, when it's in the thing, it's really easy to just kind of leave it there. But if you take it out and have to put it back, you're like, oh, I realize how many freaking tumbler cups I have. Uh, so, yeah, I probably need to do that with my mugs. But I'm, I'm so sentimental about my mugs, you know? <laughs> But yeah, this is how to do it because you realize how much crap you have. So I'll give everyone on that. So I just wanted to give you guys an update on my home here. <laughs> it's crazy. And I also want to show you this. My friend made this for me forever ago. And I'd love to get my dog on a mug like that. Do you want a mug with your face on it, Luna? I'm sure there's a website that does it. You would have no idea. I've also been meaning to paint. A picture of my dog for like literal years at this point especially her eyes because if her pupils are really small then there's kind of this brown that's like kind of purpley almost actually and it's really pretty and i just want to paint my beautiful nuna baby yes, I, do. I love you it's twinkie so the kitchen is taking a little bit longer than expected so it is currently under construction and you guys will see it in my next vlog the completed kitchen which oh my god it's gonna feel so nice so i actually watched a bit of a zachary michael zachary michael i cannot speak today um video this morning and she actually didn't really show any of the cabinets <laughs> at least in the part i watched she just kind of went over and was like hey the counters are clean and we're like did you just shove everything back in or did you actually get rid of stuff we will never know apparently you guys, I just made breakfast. Cute. I made a breakfast quesadilla. So that let's do like a bomb. taste test moment. Look how good that looks. Uh, I'm not going to watch her eat. Sorry. Banging. So. We got here, I forgot what I was saying. Bye. So I want to. Oh, no. <gasps> oh, she got the Da Vinci one. Oh, I really want that Starry Night thing. And the succulents. But my roommate made those. So I'm like, meh. Don't need two Lego succulents in the house. Also, the this bouquet looks really pretty, but this um for reference, I think it's probably because of the you know the copyright on it and stuff. But this is like two hundred dollars. The Starry Night, and I really want it, but my God, that's so much money. <laughs> but it's really awesome because it's like three D and everything. I don't know. Maybe I'll ask my mom for it for my birthday this year. <laughs> she also really likes Starry Night show you guys my new legos as you guys know yeah, uh Flynn like got me this one for, the legos. for christmas and then someone else important in my life got me this one and then my mom got me this one because for yeah. any like holiday or something special like you know like her uh anniversary for being sober just anything special i always send her fresh flowers that get delivered to her so she got me these and she was like, now I can send you flowers that'll last forever. And I just thought it was so cute. Aww, that's so like really cute. I'm so excited that I have all these Lego, Le Legos, that oh, I have all these Legos. Oh my God. I'm still working on my Titanic. I haven't finished her yet because I'm trying oh, to take my time. $700 so I also want to show you guys the other gift that my mom got me. So this is me and my mom when I was a little girl. Um, I probably couldn't even really speak at this age, but when I learned how to speak and form sentences and understand words, um, since I was like literally four 
years old, um, I've been saying something to my mother even till this day as I am 32 years old. So for the last 28 years of my life, I have been telling my mom, I love you more than every single spoonful of water in the whole world. And it was something that I just randomly said when I was four. And I have not stopped saying through everything we've been through. I have not stopped saying that and I haven't stopped meaning it. And it's just, it's just a thing that we, we have together. I'm getting a little emotional. (laughs) Um, so my mom got me this for Christmas. It is a spoon that says love you more. And it's just so meaningful to me that I started crying. I, it's these types of gifts that are super sentimental to me. I will never use this spoon. It's actually right next to my bed. Um, I sleep with it near. And I know some people might not understand this, but it's just so meaningful. And I just appreciate her so much. And she's the most amazing, wonderful person I've ever known in my whole life. And she is literally the epitome of strength and of change. And oh my God, I'm gonna start crying. So yeah, I just wanted to show you guys um, that gift from her because it just meant the world to me. And I hope that you guys had a good holiday. Um, it's now the new year. And we're just getting into the swing of things now. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. That was actually really sweet. Nice little sweet gift. I wouldn't use that spoon either. I'd probably, you know, frame it with a picture of me and my mom or something if that were the case. But that was a really nice ending. I literally went, that was, made my heart grow three sizes that day, you know? Yeah. That was a nice little ending. Now I don't want to be mean and criticize her at the end of the video like I normally do. Uh, we're going to do it anyway. But yeah, I'll admit that was really sweet. But yeah, I would like to hope that she's still working on that giant Lego Titanic considering it's like three quarters of my rent. So yeet. But yeah, that's the end of Amber's video. Uh, Kind of, I- I'm really down with the decluttering. Something that's going on a lot right now is a lot of like the, you know, suburban moms who like clean their houses for a living on YouTube. They're doing like New Year's decluttering videos. So I'm just seeing like so many decluttering videos and I'm honestly living for it. I love watching people declutter their stuff and organize it because it just, it always looks so much better. And it's always like, it's hard at first learning like how to declutter and getting used to the feeling of letting things go. But once you do, it's like such a weight off your shoulders because you're like, I don't have this stupid stuff in my house that has no use to me and is doing nothing like, you know, but definitely uh, that crystal collection was a bit atrocious. I think if I recall correctly, those were at least the same type of drawers that she had the earrings in. So it's just like huge parallels that she has not learned anything in the past year about how to like actually restrict herself from buying dumb stuff that she will never use. You know, sort of like the shopping addiction transfer between the earrings and the crystals. Like I said, one shiny thing to another type of shiny thing, which I will say... <laughs> I will give her the benefit of the doubt. Buying crystals can be kind of addictive because you're like looking for that one that's just right and like the right shape and the right. And when you find it, it's like, oh, like the clouds open up and the sun shines through. Beg it. I don't really got the money to buy every single crystal that I want in the world. If I did, I probably would have a collection like double the size that I do now. Probably the same amount that Amber did before she decluttered her stuff. But the difference between her and me is I would actually use the same amount of money to buy nice big ones that I would put on display like I do already. And, uh, you know, a fan of the decluttering, not a fan of how she's storing the crystals because that's kind of a waste of money in my opinion because like I said those are things that you should show off but yeah that's the end of my video I hope you have a good rest of your day evening weekend whatever you're having and remember that you're worth the space you take up in the world bye